Hi Ashwini, recently DeepMind released a few more games played between Alpha Zero vs Stockfish and I am going to analyze one of them. Uh, in this game Alpha Zero had a white piece, he began the game with uh, pawn to d4 and now knight to f6, c4, e6, knight f3, b6 and we have Queen's Indian defense on the board. Here g3 was played, bishop to b7, bishop to g2 and bishop to b4 check. And this intermediate bow wins a, a small tempi. Here bishop to uh, d2 was played. And point is that after uh, knight to c3, black can just uh, give a double pawn on the c file, uh, double pawn on c file to white by playing bishop capture on c3. And so say bishop to d2, and now bishop to e7. And Stockfish is saying that your bishop on uh, d2 is a bit mis misplaced here. You have to move your bishop uh, from d2 and thus uh, black gains a small dmp here knight to c3 was played and now castle queen to c2 and now knight to a6 uh, pawn to a3 stopping this uh, knight to b4 and now c5 was played and here comes uh, d5, uh, d5 a typical uh, temporary pawn sacrifice because after pawn captures on d5 and knight to g5 uh, white pins this pawn and thus uh, white can gain the pawn with interest so knight to c7 was played and now h4 h6 and here stock uh, sorry alpha 0 played this knight takes on d5 a point is that you cannot win this knight over here because of pawn captures on g5 and once you move the knight uh, queen to h7 is just just checkmate so knight captures on d5 knight captures on d5 and now pawn takes on d5 and still uh, this pawn is pretty much untouchable because in case of uh, knight captures on d5, queen to h7 is just checkmate. And in case of bishop capture d5, white can first play, any yani alpha 0 first play this uh, bishop captures uh, on d5. And then knight cannot take on d5 because of queen h7 checkmate threat. Uh, here, a pawn to d6 was played. And still, uh, this uh, pawn captures on uh, g5 is not possible because of pawn captures g5 followed by queen to h7. So C captures on D5 and now D6 was played, A4, Queen to D7, Bishop to C3 improving the position of Dasper Bishop, Rook F to E8 and now Alpha 0 just castle long, a Bishop to D8, E4 and now Knight to G4, here Alpha 0 just pins this Knight and threatening this pawn to F3, uh, so to win this uh, piece on G4 and here uh, Stockfish just took on G5, pawn to F3. And now f5, pawn captures on g4, pawn captures on g4, and now uh, bishop to f1 threatening this uh, uh, bishop to b5, and there is no way that you can avoid this move. Say you are playing this uh, queen to c7, but then comes h capture on g5, bishop capture on g5 check, king to b1, and now set queen to f7, but uh, now this pawn to e5 opening up this queen's diagonal, and queen to h7 is really deadly. So say e5. And now pawn captures on e5, then first bishop to c4, uh, because now uh, you can play this rook to f1 followed by just uh, queen to h7, which is just uh, checkmate. So say g6, uh, stopping queen h7, but now comes this uh, rook d2 f1, and after queen to g7, uh, just pawn to d6, discover check is just winning, of course, now it's a checkmate in uh, 4 by 4 Anyways, so after bishop to f1 in the game, Stockfish played pawn captures on h4 and now uh, bishop to b5 attacking the queen, queen to f7 and here alpha 0 choose pawn capture on h4. Bishop to f6 was played. In fact, this is a slight error because of rook h2 f1. Now this uh, h file is closed, so rook belongs to now f1 square. And now basically white is threatening pawn captures on f6 and g capture on f6 was forced followed by the weakness on f6 and weakness on d6 which uh, alpha 0 want to target here rook to f8 but anyways bishop capture on f6 on capture on f6 and now uh, rook to f4 attacking this uh, g4 queen to g7 defending it and now bishop to e2 again attacking this uh, pawn on g4 and also threatening to win a, a queen so queen to h6 uh, pinning this rook and thus defending uh, this uh, uh, g4 temporarily uh, rook to f1 supporting this rook on f4 and now g3 queen to d3 attacking this uh, g3 pawn and there is no such way that you can defend this uh, pawn on g3 uh, king to h8 was played and now queen captures on g3
rook h to sorry rook a to e8 attacking this uh, a pawn on e4 uh, because this rook is pinned so bishop to d3 was played bishop to c8 and now finally alpha 0 uh, unpin his rook with king to b1 rook to f7 was played queen to f2 attacking this uh, pawn on f6 third time and now bishop to d7 and now h5 was played in the game rook to f8 and here uh, black would you know just uh, uh, run out of the moves and this pawn on f6 will fall very soon uh, bishop to c2 and here bishop to e8 and now uh, rook to f3 was played and in this case if you try and hang on this pawn on f6 say you are playing this bishop to d7 but then white can play just uh, rook to g3 threatening this uh, rook to g6 and say you are moving this rook to g7 but comes this rook captures on g7 queen captures on g7 and now uh, queen to uh, just f4 targeting another weakness that is on a d6 and if you try to you know just uh, support this pawn with uh, say queen to e7 but now white can win the game on the spot with this queen to h6 point is that uh, you cannot play queen h7 otherwise queen capture f8 is just winning and in case of king g8 simply rook g1 check followed by rook to g7 uh, picks this uh, a queen on e7 and in fact i guess uh, yeah uh, this wins the queen on the e7 so anyways after uh, this rook to f3 move in the game stock piece played this uh, rook to e7 giving up this uh, f6 pawn and the d6 pawn here rook captures on f6 was played queen capture on f6 queen capture on f6 rook capture on f6 and rook capture on f6 and now this d6 pawn will also fall uh, you cannot support with rook to d7 otherwise rook uh, simply check and picks this uh, uh, bishop on e8 uh, so after rook capture on f6 king to g7 was played and now rook captures on d6 bishop captures on h5 and now alpha 0 is having two connected pass pawn and in fact uh, this is enough material to win the game uh, here king to c1 was played rook e5 and now a5 destroying the stock piece queen side pawn structure and now pawn captures on a5 and now king to d2 bishop to e8 and now uh, rook to a6 attacking both the pawn a5 and on a7 and now rook to h5 was played and here uh, uh, bishop to d3 a4 and now alpha 0 played this uh, uh, d6 move idea is to play pawn to d7 and in case of bishop captures on d7 simply rook captures on a7 wins on the spot so bishop to f7 is forced and now uh, d7 was played threatening to promote queen so rook to h8 and in fact uh, here after e5 stroke is decided to give up uh, say you are playing this uh, rook to say d8 then rook capture on a7 even this bishop to uh, b5 uh, sorry bishop to f5 or even bishop to uh, b5 is both are just winning so friends how was the video thanks for watching bye bye